Shalom. Like to say our praises do unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is in regards to the Black Fr the Black Friday. You know, this is our ritual that's done every year. You know, to uh, you know, to get our people to go to the uh, like to go to the mall. You know, buy whatever appliance, whatever you know, and um, our people to consume, right? Because that's what they want us to consume. You know, anything because basically, you know, like they were doing the same thing. You know, with the downfall of the Northern Kingdom. You know, of Gad, Mexican, uh, the Mex so-called Mexicans, all right. You know, Latin tribes. You know, and the slavery, you know, the slave auctions, you know, this is, uh, there's nothing new under the sun, you know, and uh, this is just me flowing, I'm just going to be flowing in the spirit and see where the spirit's going to lead because, uh, you know, we're, we're under these, uh, you know, these devils, man, you know, who had us in slavery, man, and uh, like this is off of BBC News. Black Friday rumors and the truth about how it got this name. Black Friday, a day that for the for most British shoppers only started in the last couple of years and is a symbolic of by fighting over flight flights over uh like flat screen tvs right and you know that th 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 these televisions is nothing about the um the euro man through them you know you know to uh you know the cast spells the channel spirits and that's why we're living like that's what we're living under you know we're under uh you know high level warlocks and satanists you know, so like I'm gonna play some music, so like yeah, some little classical. And I'm studying. And I'm like I normally study. I normally use a lot of. I listen to a lot of classical music when I'm like studying. I listen to other types of music, you know, to lift up my spirit. All right, but um, this is gonna be a continuation. It says, uh, first, <clears throat> first introduced to the UK by a mate by Amazon. Now a range of retail such as Tesco, Argos, and John Lewis. Like it says, like discount, like uh, or it's like a John Lewis discount prices. The term first began in the u.s where black friday followed thanksgiving on the thursday of november all right and these are just rituals you know when we're you know when um you know christopher colon or, or christopher columbus came over you know and slaughtered a lot of our people you know and they uh, a lot of our people went into slave in the cargo slave ships you know, like, and they went, you know, to the, you know, like, to the crown, you know, of, uh, you know, the Spanish, you know, and, uh, you know, and basically, like, we fell. Then, basically, also, the transatlantic slave trade with uh, the southern tribe, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, throughout uh, West Africa, you know, these ports, you know, Fort, Fort Judah, or, or or Wuda, you know, f you know, Fort Benin, all right, which is like Benjamin, you know, like the Negro, like the Negro land, you know, which would be uh, basically New or um, Guinea, you know, within those region, you know, of West Africa, and pretty much there was a slave trade, all right, and a lot of tribes, you know, throughout West Africa, 
they were uh there was uh like they sold out you know like we our people sold a lot of our people like the shanti certain certain big tribes you know our people were involved in that shit man you know and um you know so we fell as ultimately you know and uh you know just flowing in the spirit man you know forgive me on my uh ranting but it's real man the term first began on the u.s in the u.s where the black friday followed following on the last thursday of november there was plenteous rumor circling online about how the day of sales first go got its name but which one is true right black slave right which we're not black right you know black you know they have that term black you know black meat that basically when you go into etymology it means to wear uh let's get it for any brothers you know then i'm gonna get some scriptures and then close because that black it has a it has a stigma black um an adjective old english black absolutely dark absolutely all light of color of coal or coal or dark to shine to blaze then uh, the same root produce mid middle english black blake or pale from old english black bright shining glitten dark you know but it basically has a dark term it says a uh, black was dark skinned people in old english right the meaning fierce terrible wicked right so they want to have that term black you know they want to you know like like they want to classify us as being wicked and dark you know you know and they call themselves white you know which means pure r righteous so this is just witchcraft that esau has been doing for you know for many years you know trying you know because they, they know who we are you know that they know um when you go into like the like when you go into uh a lot of the dictionaries about the jews within like the when you read like the like their if, if you read the definitions in the mid 1800s 1700s you know it, it, like they would say that the jews were were so-called negroes right and um esau is just uh, the devil man but you see black slaves were sold at discounts right so like this is what they did you know for thanksgiving you know on black friday you know they would sell our sell us as, 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 as a as a as a as a discount let me get that scripture i'm gonna get isaiah 42 well uh joel Joel 3 and uh, start that um, 3 and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink and that's what was going on you know these plantations you know the transatlantic slave trade you know like they were selling our men and women child children old and young you know um, so called elderly and young you know for guns go uh you know for weapons uh wine you know um rum you know and they're doing whatever you know that they were sleeping with little boy little girls you know and they're still doing the same thing you know the, the esau is still practicing that same shit, 
you know, he, he saw us off. Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? So, so you damn Ishmaelites, all right? Because they, because Ishmaelites, during uh, the Mohammedan times, you know, like they a lot of our people were were sold into into bondage, all right, under these Ishmaelites, all right. So, basically from. This, this the seventh century basically so 600 a.d and then until now you know a lot of people are still following that damn islam will you render me a recompense if you all right and but now you know you, like you the the, the, the like tarian zaidan now will be referring to these ha these hamites as well right, who are involved in that slave trade as too man it said, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return a recompense upon your own head? So it doesn't matter how much gold, silver, you no know, precious stones, you know, like that they're going to want to pay back. No, like they're not going to have to, you know, because um, Revelation 13 and um, says, he that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. So like how we were, like how we were led into captivity, you know, you Edomites, you know, you're going to be number one. You know, you Ishmaelites, you Hamites, you other nations, man. You Moabites, you Japan, you Ammonites, you know, you Chinese, Japanese, and whatever. All you nations who are not descended from Israel, you guys are going down. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temple my goodly pleasant thing. You know, you know during the Babylonian captivity, you know, you, 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 you had the Idumians who was there, you know, who was watching, and like, you know, who who conspired against us, and you know, and destroyed our 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 our, our temple, you know, like, um, that they took a lot of our our, our like our, our our like our resources, you know. You know, um, for the temple and all that, and then our people were led into Babylon, all right, which would be like within uh, the Iraq, all right, and so on and so on. The children, also of Judah, have you sold? The children also of Judah and the children of, of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border, all right. So the same thing was going on. They're back in the Greco-Roman Empire, and then you know when they came back to power, you know, under this same Roman system, the Greco-Roman system, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, right? And we went down through the transatlantic slave trade. All right, so this is uh, this is real, man. This is um, Black Slaves Were Sold at the Discount. It says, like Tony Braxton, the singer, you know that song, oh, Unbreak My Heart and those big, she's a big singer. She's bleached out now. I think her, one of her sisters, I think she died. But, um, you know, but she they want to have her, you know, like she's like so-called woke, you know. Tony Braxton posted it said a picture to her Facebook page, along with according ca a slack a accompanying, accompanying caption which claims that slave trade not slack it, that slave traders sold sl s would sell slaves for a discount to um, assist plantation owners when they need extra help that to prepare for winter all right all right so this is gonna be uh you know I, I could guarantee you that you know she's gonna be the next one on the list all right because there they have uh the Kyrie Irving you know Kanye West you know who want who want to talk up you know and to tell our people certain things this is the, like these are all just controlled 
you know opposition but the truth being exposed you know that truth coming out there you know because they have to still have um you know that control opposition right this is a very good uh good article um I'm gonna get this scripture. Isaiah 42 and Isaiah 42 verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are, they are all of them snared in holes, and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for a prey and non deliverer, for a spoil and non self restore right because we're you know where people are uh, are are uh our people are you know down you know you know with the prison industrial complex you know and they use a lot of these entertainers to um you know to push it and a lot of our people got shares you watch that that thing with busy bone or crazy bone or whatever and uh he was talking about the prison industrial complex and uh he was pretty he, he was very privy to and he went to like some mansion somewhere in uh look like probably california one of them places and um uh, you know and they were breaking it down um you watch that interview with I think with the crazy bone i'm not really gonna go too long in it but this is uh the secret meeting that changed rap music and destroyed a generation. So this is for educational purposes. Let's see how I'm going to see how long I'm going to run it for and uh, I'm going to go into certain prophecies. And destroyed a generation. Damn. So she says, hello. After more than 20 years, I finally decided to tell the world what I witnessed in 1991, which I believe was one of the biggest turning points in popular music. Yeah, so I'm not going to really go that deep because I don't want to be uh, flagged or nothing. But, you know, that's pretty much uh, the guy with Crazy Bone or Lazy Bone, whatever his name was. Was going to the prison industrial complex and the meeting, you know, with uh, you know, with the Amalekites, you know, who run, you know, all these different shares and who's on top of the world, <laughs> you know, so to speak. But um, you know, also in the uh, one second. Our people are the biggest consumers too, you know. It says black people, biggest consumers, right? And this is just, I didn't even click this. Black people are a major consumer in the America or in America. It says the economy and uh, spent more than one trillion a year on goods and services, right? And that's what it is. Our people are our biggest consumers, especially for this Christmas, this Black Friday. Like this is like their bulk of money, man. That like what they're making. People are the biggest consumers. Our people don't support each other. You know. It says, uh, this is off of this uh, site. Why black people are the top consumers, but lack wealth, right? Which are, you know, you know, like we're under the curses, unfortunately, but um, you no, know, even when our, a lot of these, a lot of the, uh, Judah, you know, like even after, like, after slavery, 
a lot of our people they had a lot of black cities so-called black cities right and basically we were uh very strong you know but you know you know like you know like esau did a lot of massacres like through the americas and destroyed our people's um our people's plan you know right because ultimately that we had to go into slavery and we like and we had to suffer the curses of Deuteronomy 28 16 to 68 all right and uh they want to go that in depth but uh says uh but this is a people robbed and spoiled and there there are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in the present in prison houses they are for a prey and non deliverer right so yeah where our people are for our prey all right all right because um you know esau you know like they make a lot of wealth you know off these prison industrial complex all right and uh let's go into this the prison industrial complex on Wikipedia. Slacky. <clears throat> the prison industrial complex, or PIC. You know, it's so, all you know. Like, I see this why that like they have the pick a nigga or PIC. It all goes back to slavery, man. All these terms, you no. Know? You see how they have it about PIC. All right, pick a nigger. Prison industrial complex is a term coined after the military industrial complex of the 1950s, used by scholars and activists to describe the relationship between the government and the various businesses that benefits from institution of incarceration, such as prisoners, no, such as prisoner as such as prisons, jail, it's a determined, it's a determined facilities and psychiatric, and psychiatric, psychiatric, and psycho, psychologic, or like physical, like physical, like that word, like physical, like uh, um, like hospital, All right? So you saw, you know, that they're making money you know from these prison complex you know from these um these like psychiatric hospitals you know all that you know and basically with these psychiatric hospitals you know like they make a lot of money by you know you know by giving people pills injecting people with all kind of drugs and poison you know because esau is a sorcerer and a witch All right, and basically uh, in the 1950s, you know, like the prison population was very low, but in the 80s till now, it's very high, right? And it's done through this whole rap, this rap music, you know, this, you know, because, uh, you know, with the, because back in the 80s, there was a lot of like, you know, smooth type music, you know, house and, all kind of stuff and um you know our people were uh, i think uh what's the name with the flavor flav you know that like fight the power guy i forgot his, his name his name is uh forget his damn name but you know but a lot of our people they were very educated and they weren't really going into that shit. but basically with the the NWA or the like, or the what do you call it? The ones from um from California, the like the niggas with attitude. The niggas with attitude with um Ice Cube, Easy E, and all that. You know um Dr. Dre and all that was pushing that that gangster shit or that gangster type music. All right, and this is how they made a lot of money. All right, and like, and they got a lot of shares and money. But you see what happened with the Easy. -E, all right, because Easy, -E, he was, uh, you know, I guess 
like I guess he was bucking up, you know, against his 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 master. So they they got him, man. But now you know, from so now from oh yeah with the crack epidemic, the crack epidemic in the eighties and all that shit. So it's like yeah, till now. You know, and that's why, you know, all these rappers, you know, they talk about guns, like they have all these weapons in their music videos. And um, a lot of these rappers are dying. For the past couple of years, there's been like at least five or six hundred rappers who die every year. In, uh, in, like, uh, in the Americas and, you know, Canada. UK you know like all that you know cuz it's because you're, you're just pushing death the term is most often used in the is the context of of contemporary of contemporary stuck of contemporary United States where the rapid expansion of the US inmate population has resulted in Has, has resulted in particularly influence and economic profits of private prison, right? Even with this whole Michael Jordan, man, he, he like he already has a lot of shares, you know, into these prisons, you know, and like that's why, like you know, like they have him, you know, with his shoe, you know, the Jordans, you know, from in the eighties and nineties, our people were dying for, you know. Yeezys and all that shit, you know the Kanye, what you mean? I'm slack out the Kyrie Irving shoe and all that shit. Even though they're trying to buck up, whatever, but they're all just control opposition, you know. So this is um, I'm gonna get Psalms eighty three and then I'm gonna close up. But let's look at this for Isaiah forty two and twenty two. Isaiah 42 verse 22 the NLT but this own people have been robbed <laughs> and and plundered enslaved imprisoned and trapped right so with this music this trap music this you know like all these things is to is to you know the like the heavenly father is laughing at us you know because you know, because, you know, our people are so stupid, you know. But this, but his own people have been robbed and spoiled and plundered. Enslaved, right? So we're enslaved, right? The Trinidadian slave trade, in prison, right? You know, with these, you know, when you, you might be driving, you know, like you always have to be on the lookout, you know. You know, for these damn shady police. You know, because they could just, uh, you, could get, you could get pulled over and they might say, oh, you know, like they try to like, you know, like they try to put something in your damn vehicle and say, oh yeah, you know, like, yeah, you had such and such in your vehicle and they're going to charge you. And, that, and like, that's what they've been doing, man. They are fair game for anyone. So yeah, so we're just a game, you know, we might be walking down the street you know but we have all these different nations who's watching us all kind of different agencies um you know who's gathering intel you know whether they're black you know like they use our people you know indian black you know they and, and like pretty much it's gang stalking and we're just a game you know I, like I've been, I've been harassed, you know. I've been gang stuck, you know, and that's not fucking nice, you know. They're like, watch that movie with um, Will Smith, like Independence Day, or no, it's like yeah, with Will Smith. Um, I think Enemy of the State shows you that, man. Yeah, and that's it, man. And have and have. <laughs> And have no one to protect them, no one to take them back home, right? So yeah, so the only one who's gonna protect us is 
the Heavenly Father Yahawa, which means He is or to be, Yah, which means He, Hawa, mean to be, and Yahawa Shai, Yah, which means He, and Yahawa Shai, or Hashai, it means deliver, right? So He's going to deliver us. And he's going to bring us back, not to Africa, but to Israel. All right. Um, good, good. Psalms 83 and 1. But uh, with that, I pretty much uh, I didn't want to go too much, too too long. But uh, with that, let's say our praise do unto Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh, Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom.